As a technical marketing engineer at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, I know the challenges of data intensive workloads and untapping the potential of your data. With HPE's latest enterprise solution, the HPE Electra Storage MPX10000, you can unleash the power of your unstructured data. Built on the common all NVMe hardware platform, the HPE Electra Storage MP, the X10000 supports seamless, independent scaling of performance and capacity, which removes the traditional bottlenecks of other unstructured data platforms. The single namespace enables unified data access, streamlined ingest of data, and ultimately a more performant system capable of accelerating intensive application workloads. Logging onto the HPE GreenLake platform, you can access all your storage array systems, including the X10000 via Data Services Cloud Console, where end-to-end -end management of the X10000 begins. DataOps Manager gives you the ability to manage your fleet of HPE storage arrays, whether block, file, or object from one single pane of glass. Looking at the dashboard, a storage administrator can get a high-level view of what is going on across the entire install base. Here we can see general capacity available and utilization across the different types of arrays we are managing here. And we can see how those different types of arrays are performing at a system-wide level. Let's take a closer look at one of the X10,000 systems. Navigating to a specific system within DataOps Manager gives you a view of everything going on with that system. The Issues tab provides a list of all issues currently reported by this array, as well as the severity. The Capacity tab, you can view overall capacity utilization, space savings, and you can see how your utilization is trending over time. The Performance tab provides detailed performance graphs capturing key metrics including service times, number of S3 requests, and the amount of data transferred. Here you can view and manage the software version of your system. The networking tab allows you to view and configure your network interfaces. And finally, settings gives you the ability to configure and edit fields like system name, support contact, threshold alerts, date, and time. The object service dashboard abstracts hardware and system specific details, leaving you with a targeted look at just your object storage. Here, you can get a summary of buckets allocated across your X10,000 systems, including your most performance intensive buckets and buckets consuming the most capacity. Looking at an existing bucket gives you granular details about it, including helpful metrics such as capacity utilized, how fast it's growing, and total object count. You can also see the metadata key value pairs that have been assigned as part of bucket creation, and you can pull and view capacity and performance graphs. Creating a bucket takes just a few clicks. Like our other HPE GreenLake storage offerings, the Creation Wizard assesses your available X10,000 systems and recommends the best capacity option for your new bucket. This helps ensure new workloads can be provisioned uniformly as capacity grows and as new X10,000 systems are onboarded into your fleet. You can assign custom metadata tags to your new bucket as part of the creation process. This provides additional context to that bucket and the objects it will store. Review the details, click Create, and you're done. Now, let's take a look at how you can control access to that bucket. As part of the object service, you can create custom access policies to control user operations permitted for a bucket on an X10,000 system. The Access Policy Wizard gives you the ability to granularly select which buckets the policy applies to and create detailed allow and deny lists for various S3 operations. Let's create a general access policy that will allow certain users to list and get objects. Access policies can be applied directly to users or groups containing users. Here, I will create a group for read-only users and assign that access policy that I created. Now, let's create a new user and add it into the group. I will create username, select the system, and select the group I want that user in. A password will be generated and serve as the secret access key for that user to connect to the S3 endpoint. Adding a new user into an existing group automatically inherits the access policies applied to that group, ensuring secure, granular control over your buckets and the data they store. If you like what you are seeing, I would encourage you to contact your HPE representative to schedule a live demo.